the Polycom VVX500 and 501. In this video, we will cover the device's functionality and the most commonly used features so that you're up to speed with your new phone. When your phone is first set up, please take a look at the phone and get used to where everything is. On the left is the receiver and on the right you will see your display and keypad. You'll also see some quick access buttons next to the keypad, such as the home button, headset, speakerphone and mute buttons. You also have physical volume buttons. If you're not on a call and use these buttons, it will adjust the ring volume. And if you're on a call, it will adjust the caller volume. The display screen is your main source of information for the device and the touch screen allows you to control many features on the device. When the phone is not in use, you will see the time and date, your line key and soft key options and also feature notifications such as voicemail and do not disturb. The buttons on the middle of your screen are your line keys. These keys can be configured to add additional lines to your main extension. We will assign busy LAN field, line keys for other extensions and even allows you to assign login and logout buttons for hunt groups. The buttons below the screen are your soft keys. These buttons will change depending on the phone's activity. When not on a call, you'll have access to the forwarding and do not disturb options. To dial an outbound call, start dialing your number using the dial pad and then use the receiver, speaker button or headset button to start your call depending on what you're using. You'll see all the call information on the screen and you'll see additional soft key options at the bottom of your screen. While on a call, you can start a separate call by placing the person on hold and then dial the number for your second call and then press the send button. While on a call, you can start a separate call by placing the person on hold and then dial the number for your second call and then press the send button. To answer an incoming call, simply lift the receiver, press the speakerphone and headset button depending on what you're using. Again, you'll see all the call information on the screen along with the additional soft key options at the bottom of the screen. To answer a call waiting, simply press the blinking line key on the screen and then press the answer soft key. This will automatically place the first call on hold and answer the new call. To go back to the first call, you can by tapping on the first call and then pressing the resume button. You can place a call on hold by pressing the hold soft key. The caller will be placed on hold showing the word hold on the screen. To take the person off hold, simply press the resume soft key to do so. Attended transfer allows you to speak to the person you'd like to transfer the call to before actually transferring the call through. To do this, at the bottom of the screen, press the transfer soft key. This will place the caller on hold. And then dial the extension or number you'd like to transfer the call to and then wait for the other person to answer the call. Once you've spoken to the person, you can complete the transfer by pressing the transfer soft key and the call will successfully transfer. A blind transfer allows you to immediately transfer a call to your preferred destination. While you're on a call, press the transfer soft key and then tap the blind button near the top right. Dial the number or extension you wish to transfer the call to and then press the send button. The call will be sent to the destination. Conference calls allow you to merge two active calls together which allows a three-party call. When you're on a call, press the conference soft key. The call will be placed on hold you then have to dial the new number or extension and then once answered, press the conference button again which will merge the two calls together to create the conference call. You can manage the conference call with the additional soft key options. Press the whole soft key to put the conference on hold. Press the split soft key to separate the call and place both parties on separate holds. Press the park soft key to park the conference on a virtual extension to answer on a different device. Press the call flip soft key to send the call back to your extension and move the conference to another device assigned to you. You can end the conference by pressing the end call soft key. If the call allows to hold for a user that is currently not at their desk or is near a different device, you can easily part the call to allow to pick up the call from any device on the account. Press the more soft key to access the second page of soft key options. Press the park soft key and the call will be dropped from your device while being placed on hold. Your device is sent an instant SMS message to advise you of the parked extension. Press the instant message soft key to see the message. Now any user can dial the extension number on their device to pick up the park call. If you need to move a call to a different device such as Hostex Collaborate on your mobile, you can use the call flip feature to send the call back to your extension. 
press the more soft key to access the second page of soft key options and then press the call flip soft key. The call is placed on hold and then sent back to your extension as a new call so you can pick up the call on any device assigned to your user account. The call history stores records of all calls made or received on your device. You can use the buttons near the top right to sort by time or name, sort by the type of calls such as received, missed and placed calls or delete calls from your history. You can redial any of the calls by simply tapping the number you wish to dial. You can also add a history call as a contact. Press the info icon at the right of the line and then press the save button. Enter the name and contact information and then press the save soft key to store the information in the phone's directory. To access the directory, press the home button to the right of the screen and tap the directories button. All your saved contacts will be listed here and you can call the contact by pressing the contact or by tapping the number to dial out to the contact. Or you can edit or delete the contact. You can also press the plus button to add a new contact anytime. You will see a DND soft key near the bottom. If you press that, you will see a DND icon appear on the top of your screen. To turn off Do Not Disturb, press the DND soft key again. You can set call forwarding on your device at any time. Press the home button on the right of the screen, tap the forward key. If you have a remote line key enabled for another extension, you will have two individual forward settings for both lines. Select the line you wish to edit, you'll have three forwarding options. All forwarding will forward all the calls to the number you enter. No answer forward would forward the call if you're not on a call and if the call hasn't been picked up to the number you've entered. Busy forward would forward any calls you have rejected to the number you've entered. If the caller leaves a voicemail, you see a notification on your mail icon to indicate you have a voicemail. That note will stay visible till you listen to your new voicemail messages. To check your voicemail, tap on the voicemail button and then tap message center. If you have a remote line key enabled for another extension, you will have two separate mail centers for each line. Select the line you would like to check the voicemail for. When the message is open, you can see how many urgent, new and old voicemail messages you have. When prompted, Enter your passcode to the voicemail box to listen to your voicemail messages or edit your outgoing greetings from the automated voice menu.